The Sony a6400 is probably one of the best APS-C mirrorless cameras to date. The image quality for photo and video has not failed to impress, and the overall experience using this camera has amazed me every time I pick up the camera. The camera itself is great, but what would make the entire experience even better are accessories. The accessories I'll talk about today will make your time shooting more enjoyable, easy, and efficient. Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the best accessories to use for your Sony a6400. This video pretty much applies to all Sony a6000 line cameras, but one or two products here and there will be specifically for the Sony a6400. So the first accessory that you definitely have to buy even before buying your camera is a good set of batteries. And Sony APS-C cameras are already known to have a pretty bad battery life, so that's why it's really important to stock up on a ton of batteries so that you're always prepared for any shoot you have to go on. So the ones I have here are by Artman, and they do provide two batteries with the charger for only around $22. So this is a really good deal, but honestly it does come down to how long these batteries are going to last. And I've had these for about two months now, and they have done pretty well, but compared to the original Sony battery that cost like $50 plus, uh, it's probably about like three-fourths of that battery life. What I do really enjoy about Sony batteries is that you can pretty much just charge up this entire thing with a portable charger and then you can just bring this wherever you are on the go on whatever shoot you're on. It really does come down to what you shoot, so in specific if you do shoot weddings, I wouldn't recommend these third party batteries and I would just go for the Sony. So if you guys are looking to get any of the Sony a6000 line cameras or just want extra batteries for your camera already, definitely go check out the Artman ones that I'll have linked in the description below. So suppose you're shooting an event or a wedding or something and you have all these third party batteries and you don't want to keep switching them out all the time, the solution here is to get yourself a battery grip. So if you don't know what a battery grip is, it's pretty much just a grip that you can put two batteries inside. If you've seen a camera like a Canon 1DX Mark II or something like that, you see that they have like a huge portion at the bottom where they actually have one huge battery. But here, since the Sony battery life isn't that good, you can just put two in here and you won't have to keep changing them out. And another thing that I think a lot of people don't think about right now is that a battery grip for the APS-C size cameras actually provides a lot more weight to it. And if your camera doesn't have IBIS or in-body image stabilization, unless you have a Sony a6500, then your camera's not stabilized. So pretty much if you have a Sony a6000, a6300, or 6400, your camera is not stabilized, but you might have a stabilized lens. And if you don't have a stabilized lens, this thing adds a lot more weight to your camera and helps you stabilize your shots when you're shooting handheld. And probably the main reason why I bought a battery grip in the first place was just to look more professional. And what I mean by this is if you have a Sony a6000 or 6000 line cameras, you know that your camera is super small and that if you go to any events or something, nobody's going to take you seriously. So if you add one of these on, it's going to look a lot more like a 1DX and people are going to start to take you more seriously and they're going to want your business card and you're just going to get a lot more business that way. And I know this kind of sounds stupid, but it is just like the way people think. And I think it really does make sense, but if you do want to look a little bit more professional, definitely go pick up a battery grip. So besides the battery grip itself, in the box you do get this, uh, this shutter remote right here. And this remote right here pretty much allows you to take photos when you're not close to your camera. So if you are doing like a family event or something and you want to be in the shot yourself, you can set the camera up on a tripod and then go with your family or friends and then just take a picture with this camera, or with this remote. And the last thing that comes in the box is this wire right here which is pretty much um, just a connection from the battery grip to your camera so that you can use the, um, the side button, the side shutter button on your battery grip when you're taking vertical shots. So the next thing you're going to want to get is going to be great if you're a vlogger, which is maybe a lot of you if you have the A6400, and that's a portable tripod. So the one I have right here is the Joby Gorillapod 3K kit. And in the kit version that you pay 10 or $15 more for, you get the moving ball head and the plate that you can put right on your camera. And this makes it a lot easier if you are vlogging on the go, but you do want to take off the camera sometimes for like, for stills or something like that. So basically all you do is just take this button right here, you can push it and take this plate right off. And then now you just have your plate that you can screw onto your camera. And then whenever you want to vlog or something, you could just put it right onto the Gorillapod itself. If you don't want to buy a Gorillapod because you don't think it's stable, which it kind of is and kind of isn't, uh, there's other options like there, like the Manfrotto one, I forgot the model number or the name. But that's like 10 to 15 bucks, which is a great budget product. 
And I would definitely get that if you're on a budget, but I wouldn't go any lower to get like one of these super, super cheap, like bendy tripods that have like the worst legs ever. Cameras are pretty expensive things and you don't want them like sitting on this like $2 tripod that can fall over any time. So definitely go check out the Manfrotto one or the Joby Gorilla Pod if you do have a little bit more of a budget. So if you're into video at all, you definitely have to go pick up a shotgun microphone. The one I have here is by Boya and it's like a Chinese company and it is kind of like a replica of the Rode Video Micro. I was a little skeptical about it but I did look up some YouTube reviews and saw that the audio quality was like exactly the same. So I thought to myself why not save like 10 to 20 bucks and just get the Boya microphone. And after using this product for like 6 or 7 months, this microphone has shown to be a really good investment for only like 30 to 40 bucks. So if you want to gauge on how good the microphone quality actually is, you could just listen to this or my other videos, and they've all been recorded with this Boya microphone. So even though it is like more of a budget product, you do get this pretty nice like fake leather bag right here that says Boya right on it, and you actually get this dead cat as well. So if it is windy outside and you don't want like all that wind noise coming in, you can just put this right onto your shotgun mic and it'll take a lot of that away. And if you guys do want to check out this microphone, definitely go check it out on Amazon, link below. But if you want to save a little bit more money, make sure to go check out eBay first. And you could buy it like directly from China, I think right on there. I think this is what I did and I saved like 10 extra bucks or something. But you do have to wait for like an extra few weeks for the shipping time. So if you have the Sony A6400 and you are into like vlogging or filming yourself, you probably know how big of a problem it is to just put a microphone right on top of your camera. And a big feature of this camera anyways was the flip up screen, so not being able to see it was kind of an issue for me. So you pretty much just slide in this part right here into your hot shoe mount, and then this side will be on the other side of the camera. And then you can just screw in the uh, microphone right on there, and then it's gonna help you just see the screen a lot more. So if you guys are into vlogging at all or just filming yourself, Make sure to go pick this up if you have the camera ready or if you're just looking to pick it up. A lot of people don't want to buy the A6400 just because of this problem, but then once you have this, this pretty much solves all of it. So it's pretty much just going to make the A6400 the perfect vlogging camera. So with that $15 to $20 fix, you're going to be able to vlog more comfortably and enjoy the experience with your Sony A6400. So if you shoot any type of events or weddings a lot, you're going to have this problem once it comes to nighttime and it's going to be really dark. So the fix here is an external flash. The one I have here is by Godox and the model number is TT350 and it does provide the TTL functionality. And why TTL flash is so great is because you could pretty much just put it on at a fast paced event like a wedding and then you pretty much just don't have to worry about your flash at all and it just go off and the flash will know how much light it needs to compensate for the darkness in the room. This one right here is about 70 bucks. So I'll definitely pick it up if you do any type of events or weddings and it'll pay off pretty much immediately. And this thing does take two AA batteries, which means that once it dies, you're gonna have to replace them. But that's why I recommend you guys get some rechargeable batteries. This way you don't have to waste all that money on batteries and then you could pretty much just keep reusing the battery until the battery life just isn't that good anymore. This flash doesn't produce like the most amount of light, but for most events you're doing, it's gonna be perfectly fine. But if you are more of like a studio photographer, I would definitely recommend something a little bit better than this. All right, so that's pretty much all the accessories I want to talk about today. If you guys just did buy a Sony A6000 line camera or you're planning to, make sure to look into all of these accessories. And on this channel, I'm gonna be making a lot more photography and videography type of content. So if you guys have any ideas of what type of content I should make, Make sure to go drop it in the comment section below. And anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to go down below and hit that subscribe and that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.